Now we are going to solve this nice radical problem. Square root of k under square root of k under root k is equal to 4. We have to find out the value of k. Okay, what we have to do is just squaring on both sides three times. Here we have to 1, 2, 3 is the three square roots are there. So if you squaring on both sides so three times, the square root will be eliminated. You get the value of k. Now let's start doing that. Squaring on both sides of the given problem. Square root of k under root, you have root k under k, root k, the whole square is equal to 4 square. This square root and this square get cancelled. So, k times square root of k under root k is equal to 4 square. Don't simplify this term because if, if the, uh, later our simplification becomes easy. That's why. Okay. Again, now we have to again squaring on both sides. Square, k times square root of k under root k. The whole square is equal to 4 squared the whole squared. Okay. 4 squared the whole squared. Which is equal to here again. You can take this two terms. That is you can square this term separately and this term. So, k squared times this square root of k under root k, the whole square, okay. Suppose you have a b the whole square, you can write this to be a squared, b squared. And here this term, you have a power m whole to the power n can be written as a to the power m into m times n. So, you just you take this to be 2 times 2, okay, 2 times 2. Now, again you have to square this, this term and this term get cancelled. So, k square times k times root k is equal to 4 to the power 4, okay. Now, again you have to square on both sides. Then your k, this root will be eliminated and you can get the value of k, okay. So, again squaring on both sides you have k squared, k root k, the whole squared is equal to 4 to the power 4 whole to the power 2. Okay. Now again we write this here. So which is equal to uh, k squared the whole square it becomes k to the power 4. You can write k squared the whole squared and k squared uh, root k the whole squared. The square comes all the terms using this result. So here which is equal to, again using this a to the power m n is equal to a to the power m times n. So, here you have 4 times 4 into 2 is 8. Okay. So, here you have k to the power 2 times 2 is 4. k to the power 2 times this square root and this square get cancelled. You have k is equal to 4 to the power 8. Okay. Or you have k to the power. Here base is same. We can add the powers. 4 plus 2 plus 1. So you have a 7. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Is equal to uh, 4 to the power 8. Okay. And here, how we can write this to be here? You have uh, k, power, k to the power 7 is there. So you have to take 1 by 7th root on both sides or multiply. 7th uh, root on both sides are multiplied by 1 by 7. Okay. So multiply this by 1 by 7 k to the power 7 whole to the power 1 over 7 is equal to 4 to the power 8 whole to the power 1 over 7. And this term, this term get cancelled. So, k is equal to 4 to the power 8 over 7. 4 to the power 8 over 7. Or you can write this to be 4 to the power uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 7 you can write, okay? 1 plus 1 over 7 or 8 over 7 can be written as 7 plus 7 over 7 or 7 over 7 plus 1 over 7. So, here you have 1 plus 1 over 7. This is the value of 8 over 7. So, which is equal to 4 times 4 to the power 7. 4 times 4 to the power 7. So, we can write k is equal to 4 times 7th root of 4. That's the value of k. Thanks for watching.